Hast thou forgotten thy destiny, thy charge? That is most unfortunate. But it doth not release thee from thy fate. Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Thank goodness. How are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this. Isn't it? You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? You withstood the fire in my stead and were well and truly charred. Do I have thought your life forfeit? I could not hear the beating of your heart. You hung on, and by some miracle... So I'm sorry to hear that, though I cannot say I am surprised. Your burns could easily have killed you outright. A great many were bathed in the dragon's flames that day. All perished. Save you. You must be special, indeed. How else could you have survived to return here? Has he come for you? We are to part so soon, then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then, take care. Everson. Yet not only has the dragon been allowed to devastate the village, but in the wake of its attack, you dared to submit what are clearly false reports of having felled the beast. None save the Sovereign can fell the dragon. Perchance you mistook an overgrown wyvern for the bringer of calamity. The fault here lies with you, Ser Ulrika. You have failed in your duty as acting chief. With all due respect, Sir Martin, our village has dispatched many of its young hands to the northern stronghold since its completion. Was it not the former consul who decreed that the stronghold should serve to defend the kingdom? Yet the stronghold has remained entirely silent to our plight. How can you say that the fault is ours to bear? I know of no such agreement. At the very least, Queen Regent Deesa has mentioned naught of the kind. But I'm quite sure the Consul... You would dare misrepresent the words of the dead? Or do you mean to imply that the Queen Regent has spoken falsely? If so, then Melv's problems run far deeper than I had thought. Tis not indolence that has taken root here, but treason! What? I intended nothing of the sort. Pre Save your honeyed words, traitor! I must inform the Queen Regent of this development. You came to see me? Forgive me, I've much to ponder. Still, how would you like to stay the night? I've yet to repay you for aught you've done for me. 
It was by your godly efforts that Malv escaped the worst of the dragon's assault. The people of this village are more precious to me than life itself. So I wanted to tell you that. If now, tis time we slept. There is much to be done for the village, and I shan't manage it without a good night's sleep. You would say that, wouldn't you? Seems to me, beastrons go causing problems. And we humans are lumped with the job of... Jonas, please! You're being ridiculous. There! I do apologize. It would seem things have turned wrong. We mustn't let this sour your train. I do hope you shall visit us again. A rude fellow I never met. The village's troubles are far from done, if you ask me. To think I would meet you here. Or were you searching for me? I cannot return to Mal. Not till my name is cleared. Not till the dragon is found. This village also suffered the dragon's attack in the past. I intend to stay here and investigate its whereabouts. Pray, give my regards to everyone back home. Tell them that I swear to return as soon as I can. Slowly but surely, people are returning to this village. I only hope I can be of some aid to them. My name shan't be cleared till the dragon is found. I intend to stay in this village and invest... Leave one of your own to die. This is impermissible. A village is nothing without its people. Sat as Harv's leader, you ought to strive to do whatever you can to bring him back alive. Can you truly say this decision benefits your people, Jonas? <laughs> Who are you to question me? I'll suffer none of your impudence, outsider! Be gone from our village! I, Jonas, I am an outsider, and therefore have no reason to heed any commands you would give. I shall follow my own will, and all those with the strength and courage to do the same, join me at Stormwind Cave. You have returned triumphant, I see. Indeed. And now that the task is done, I shall leave Har Village. In exchange, I beg you to forgive those who joined me, yet I will go forth from this village with my head held high, glad in the knowledge that no lives were sacrificed under my watch. There'll be no need for that, Ulrika. In light of your good deeds, all shall be forgiven. After you left, we who remain discuss that which our village treasures most. It is as you yourself have said, a village is nothing without its people. We ought to have learned that lesson well after the dragon chased us from our homes. Yet t'was your heartfelt plea that reminded us of it. Ulrika, would you honor our village by becoming its chief? Tis our hope that you will guide us, and that your kindness and wisdom shall unite our people, human and bistron both. Aye, if that is what is needed, I shall rise to the call of duty. I vow to protect this victory. It seems that Jonas has seen the error of his ways, but I've no doubt Sir Ulrika will prove a better chief. One could not... I ne'er thought the day would come when I'd be asked to lead another village. Fake. This time, I shan't allow a single soul to be lost. Hav. I heard what transpired. Thank you for fighting on my people's behalf. You cannot imagine my relief when I beheld that everyone had made it out unharmed. Say, would you visit me again once night has fallen? There's... Say, would you visit me again once night has fallen? You've come. Glad I am to see you. Follow me. It is a strange thing. I ne'er knew how vast the sky was till I left Mel behind. Time and again you have come to my aid. Would that I could repay you in some way. Alas, there is little I have to offer. Yet, if your heart air aches for a place to call home, then may this village... No, not the village. 
If ever you're in need of a hearth to return to, then let it be mine. <laughs>